We spend a lot of time travelling around Western Australia and we wanted a secondary mode of transport because the main way we travel is with a Toyota Coaster motorhome. Once we're parked up somewhere it can be a little difficult to get to places that are a bit further away from the coaster. If we have to drive we have to pack up the whole camp. In the end we decided to get a Leitner LaBelle folding electric bike. We were so happy with the first bike that we bought a second and both the bikes go into the trailer that's towed along behind the coaster. As you can see from the video the bikes are very simple to pack up and unpack. You fold the pedals, remove a clip on the handlebars, remove a second clip on the frame and basically the bike folds around on itself and is ready to put away. You just reverse that process when bringing the bike back out. We've taken both the bikes on a number of trips now and have been very pleased with the performance of both of them. Both appear to be very sturdy although a word of caution with the small tyres on the LaBelle is they do not grip very well in sand and they tend to slide out. They're not really designed for this sort of terrain but generally we've found them to be quite stable but as long as we take care and don't ride on tracks that are too sandy they're generally very good. The electric motors are rated as being able to travel up to 50 kilometres with pedal assist mode. That means you're putting some effort into riding the bike and the motor is helping you. We haven't been anywhere like that distance on the bikes yet but we have been on a 10 kilometre ride and the battery levels were still at three quarters when we finished that. Although these particular models are not specifically designed to ride on bush tracks, we've been very happy with the performance so far. We've had one bike for about a year and the second one for around about six months. Charging the bikes is fairly simple as well. We have a 1000 watt sine wave inverter in the back of the coaster and it's a simple matter of just plugging the bike charger into that and connecting it. Charge time of course will depend on how much the batteries have been depleted. The trailer we carry the bikes in is covered 6x6. Both bikes fit very easily into the trailer We use a large table between them to stop them damaging each other when we're going over rough gravel roads. Although the bikes come with basic carriers, we've added baskets to both of them to make it easier to carry bulky camera gear that we normally take with us. We've also changed the seats on one of the bikes, not because the original seats are all that uncomfortable, actually they're quite good but we had this saddle already and it is very comfortable and sprung so we decided to swap it over.
quite happy to recommend these bikes to anybody who is thinking of getting an electric bike. The quality, the finish of the bikes, and the overall performance is excellent.